So tonight I watched a movie on uh, VOD called The Girl in the Book. It played at a handful of festivals earlier this year and was just released on Friday. Uh, it's playing in one theater in LA. It's in Encino. And I was looking at the map and it was like a half hour drive. And a half hour drive was just, it's too cold. Um, to deal with that right now. So, and it was a theater that I hadn't been to before, and I don't like going places at night that I've never been to. I always get lost. They get lost. So, luckily, this film's not available on VOD, so I rented it from the YouTubes. Uh, it was uh, seven bucks. It's cheaper than a movie ticket, so, you know, there you go. Um, it's written and directed by a woman who has the same first name as me. However, the few people I've met who spell it the same way as me don't pronounce it the same way. So it's either pronounced like me, Mariah Cohn, or Maria Cohn. I'm not sure. Because everyone I've ever met who has my name spelled the same way it pronounces it Maria. So if someone can figure that out for, out for me, that'd be great. Anyways, it stars Emily Van Camp as an editor, book editor, or assistant book editor, who is not really going very far in her job because her her boss is treating her like a secretary instead of an up-and-coming editor and she's sort of stifled in her own writing career and which you later find out is partly based on growing up with a terrible father who was a book agent who basically made all her decisions for her he's one of those like talk over you kind of person orders for you in a restaurant Horrible, horrible person. Um, and also because one of his clients, when he was younger, uh, mentored her. And by mentored, I mean uh, abused her because she was 15. Um, you also find out that now she's in charge of the press tour for a re-release of his book, much of which was based on her teenage angst that he mined from her while abusing her. This sounds really bleak, and it is a little bleak, but it's also about her coming to terms with the fact that her parents let her down and let this happen to her, and that this doesn't define her. And so it's sort of about being a survivor and dealing with self-care and have, surrounding yourself with people who uh, support you and who love you. And that's mostly in the gaze of her, uh, or guys, of her best friend, who, um, I really enjoyed this actress. I hadn't seen her in anything before. Um, Ali Ahn was her name. I hadn't seen her in anything before, but she was great. And then, like, a new love interest that was played by David Call, someone else I haven't seen in anything before. And then the younger version of Emily Van Camp's character was played by an actress named Anna Mavoy Ten. And she was great so good she had very expressive eyes both of these actresses had really expressive eyes um and a really was, both gave really emotionally resonant performances um there's a scene in particular towards the end where you really see how her parents don't believe her when she finally talks about this abuse and how and it's shocking but it's like this still happens all the time both with young people who are uh, put upon whose parents don't believe them, but also just women in general. So this is um, an interesting film in terms of what it has to say about rape culture and the fact that um, he said, she said is still, like, the he said is still usually more uh, believed than the she said, but especially when you're younger. Um, no one listens to teenagers in general, and then you throw her in, like, horrible literati, uh, literati New York society where with self-absorbed parents, and then you're just lost. Um, but I thought, I thought this was a, a pretty good film. Uh, it was a little shaky at the beginning. I, I had trouble getting into it for the first, like, ten minutes, and then it really found its stride and was, um, thought a very well constructed little independent film and also one of two films this year that uh have the same bed that I have uh appropriate behavior the lead character her bed is my bed and then this one also and 
It's got a very distinctive curl on it. Not the part that you can see, but on the other end. Um, I thought that was pretty funny. So, uh, this is a, a hardcore, this is a drama. So if you're not in the mood for, like, a drama, this is probably not for you. But if you're looking for um, an interesting film that really has a lot to say about rape culture and um, consent and being a survivor, um, then this is a film you will enjoy. You can rent it. It's on like Amazon and YouTube and various other places. Um, again, it's Mariah and or Maria Khan's The Girl in the Book. It just came out. Stars Emily Van Camp. Oh, oh, and the creepy guy that um, that did all this is uh, his, it was Michael Nyquist, who's been in a lot of he's been in a lot of things. Um, creepy Swedish actor. He's not actually creepy, but like they make him creepy in this. Uh, what else was he in? He's been in a bunch of things. I guess most recently he was in the. Swedish versions of the girl in the with the dragon tattoo trilogy, and he was in Ghost Protocol and John Wick, Sweden. So, anyways, again, this is the girl in the book. You should rent it. It's pretty good.